Hi, I'm Forrest Tanaka. Just one quick video before the holidays, and uh, this was inspired by a menu I saw at a local restaurant that showed um, uh, a martini glass, I think it was, uh, with, with just the splashing all over the place from something dropping into it. So I thought I'd show how I would do that. Uh, it's a similar setup to the last video I did uh, with the hard drive that was lit from below. So I've got a similar thing. Same frame that I used there, translucent, translucent sheet. And, uh, but the last time I had a glass table underneath this to give it support. This time I've got a martini glass with some uh, water with uh, green food color in it. It's a lot lighter than the hard drive and also it's a lot narrower. So I don't really care that the table's sagging a little because you're really not gonna tell. Uh, let's see, and I've got two strobes. I got one strobe below with a diffuser made of the pillowcase and a PVC frame. Uh, and both are set to low power. This one's set to 1 16th, well, which is more like medium power, but that's okay. The one below is set to um, 1 64th. Now, the advantage of using really low power is that the duration of the light is really, really short. Um, probably on the order of, the one below is probably like one five thousandth, six thousandths of a second. At one sixteenth, we're probably talking one two thousandths of a second. I'm just estimating, but it's really fast. I'm going to be dropping some cherries into the water and taking a picture right as it splashes. So we really need to lock in the water. I'm not going to do that with the shutter because uh, there's just not enough light. And that's a really fast speed for a shutter to handle. I forgot what the 5D, I'm using a 5D Mark II for this. <clears throat> With a really long lens, well, not really long. It's a 7200L lens. And the reason I'm going so long is that there's gonna be water splashing all over the place. And uh, we don't want it to approach the camera lens, not only because we don't want it to get splashed, although that's okay, but I'd have to clean it each time. Uh, the main thing is that as water gets splashing water gets close to the camera lens, um, it's going to go out of focus, even if we've got a pretty small uh, aperture. And I'm out of F, uh, what am I? F11, because uh, I want as much of the splashing water in focus as possible. And uh, so with the telephoto far back, I'm going to have less issues with uh, water approaching the lens and going out of focus and just making these sort of shadowy blobs in the photo. Uh, let's see, and I've got the shutter speed set to 1 200th, which on a 5D Mark II is the maximum sync speed. So that's the maximum speed it'll go at before we start seeing the shutter in the frame. And so of course that's way too slow to lock water in. And we're using the strobes to lock water, uh, you know, to freeze the water in mid-motion. And so you'll notice I'm not using the alien bees. The alien bees, which I use in most shoots, uh, has a problem in that the flash duration, the duration of the light is really long and it's just too long to be able to uh, freeze water in place. Uh, so that's why I'm just using cannon strobes, which uh, have a lot uh, quicker, uh, shorter duration of the flash. You can basically use it like a really fast shutter. And so, let's give this a try. And let's see. So I'm gonna get some cherries and uh, stand on the stool here, use my remote shutter release, drop the strawberries, or strawberries, cherries in, and try to capture it at just the right time. Uh, chances are it's gonna take a lot. If you saw the strawberry splash, uh, video I did ages ago. I think it's, I forgot how many times I said it took me to get that shot, maybe 30 times or so. It's gonna take a lot of time, so I'm gonna start with the first effort, uh, but first I gotta get the um, uh, cherries ready. So I'll be right back. So I got the cherries here. Uh, these are bright red cherries. Initially I just tried regular grocery store cherries but they were just too dark and they were almost black in the photo. So I got uh, 
got some frozen yogurt where they use these bright red sweet cherries and uh, uh, just use it from that. So we'll give it a try. I've got four of them here. And I'll do the first one with all the lights on. I've noticed even though the lights, all these bright lights are actually too dim for the camera to pick up, it does get reflected in the glass. So I'll do the first one with all the lights on and then all the other ones with uh, most of the lights off to avoid those reflections. So here we go. See how we do. And each time I'm gonna have to clean up the mess from this. So it takes a little time to do all this. Ah! Glad that didn't go in the water. All right. So here we go. Gonna do it from a good height to get a nice splash. Okay, here we go. I'm ready with the shutter. Well, let me test it first. All right. Ready with the shutter. Here we go. So that looked like a nice splash, and I'll see what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a bunch more tries and we'll see how many it takes before I get an acceptable shot. Mm -hmm. 